Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be talking about the Klein tools and this is a digital AC DC voltage. As you can tell we have some directions here and what it does. Does this digital it should be able to automatically detect 120 or 220. Um, it goes up to 600 volts. It does include three AAA batteries. Let's flip it over. All right there we go. We have the AAA batteries includes these two items here. And I also did buy the voltage bag accessory. So I'll show you that carrying case in another video where I might include it in this one. I'm pretty sure I'll include it in this one. So I'll show that one. And here's the item number 0520UB3. Um, you have all the little things here. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that so you can get a good view of that. So we'll look at that. So let's look at what it says, AC voltage. DC voltage, audio, audible continuity testing, um, GFCI projected, protected circuit testing. We also have auto power off, work light, and an LCD D display. Other items it talks about is durability, okay, drop protection, safety, ingress, okay, so that's pretty good. All right, now that we had a chance to zoom in on it, let's go ahead and open this and see what it's like. Got it out. We'll take this piece out, put it right there. Let's take the other items out. Okay. Don't want to cut any of the leads, so we'll take those out very carefully. There we go. Very nice. Take out the batteries. There we go. We'll put that to the side. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at it and see what we have here. We'll put that right there, put the batteries in and we'll go in from there. Okay. Let's flip this over. All right. Take these batteries out of this casing and we'll go ahead and pop these in and go from there. All right. Let's see. Put this one in this way. Put this one in the opposite way. Put this one in the opposite way too. Let's go ahead and put these back on. Tighten them down so we can have a battery in there. All right, that's tight. All right. Okay, everybody, so we had a chance to unbox it. We can also power it on and it gives you that little boot up menu. Here we have the information. This is a light GFCI tester as well as a flashlight. So we put on the flashlight. There's the flashlight for you right there. Get a good view of it. Shines pretty good. Um, these are the connectors. One thing I will say about these is that I like right now is that it has these little covers on it. So you can just pop them on and off. There's that one. There's that one right there. Get a nice view of that. And then we'll put these on the side for right now. And the next thing is let's go ahead and untie these and we'll connect them to see how they look so we'll put that there all right so it says it gives you right here red for the positive so we'll put that one right there there we go we'll take the negative one put that one right there there we go and then these can be stored in the back as well it's up to you how you want to store them i'm probably just going to keep them like this for now since i don't need to use them right now but when i do use them i will put them in there okay so let's go ahead and power these off next and let's see if anything's different now that they're connected, if anything happens, okay? Boot up menu, nothing. Okay, so let's go ahead and find a battery. Let's go ahead and find an outlet and test everything. Be back in a few minutes, everybody. Okay, so now we're gonna test out a battery that is about 1.5 amps, and this is a D size battery. Um, as you can tell, if you look at this very closely, I'll let uh, the camera zoom in says 1.5 volts so that should register on the digital meter as two amps and it should register i believe as dc for dc current we're also going to test out this uh surge protector which is connected to an outlet and it should allow us to detect ac current at 120 okay so between 120 and 122 
Um, so let's go ahead and get started with these tests. First, we'll do the D size battery. Let's go ahead and plug this, and not plug it in, but turn it on. We have our gauges in. All right, push the power on, there it goes. So now let's remove the leads. Take these out. All right, you got a good view there. So let's take this now and we'll stretch these leads out right quick. There we go. Okay. So we'll connect this to the, uh, to the negative side and connect this to the positive side. There you go, two amps, okay? So it rounds it up, two amps. There you go, and as you notice right here, it does says, it does say VDC, so voltage is DC current, direct current, and you see the little symbol annotation to tells you what it is, okay? So let's go ahead and do now the actual surge protector. See, the one thing I do like about this is the fact that you can pull the actual leads this and this okay so it gives you a little bit more room to work with so let's go ahead and put these usually the positive not usually but you should always use the positive inside of the small and then the ground goes in the other one so we'll stick these in here and as you can tell there's no power there's nothing i get zero and the reason for that is because i have not turned the surge protector on so let's go ahead and turn that surge protector on and we'll go from there all right, there you go, power's on. 123, which is, you know, roughly the 120. Um, one thing that I'll tell you is to notice is that you see that VAC, so that's voltage alternate current, okay? So let's pop these out and put it in another one just for you to be able to see. 123, all right, one more time. There you go. Now let's see the alternate current go away or when we turn off the power and cut all the electricity to the surge protector, you'll notice it goes back down. There it goes. When it defaults to VDC. So we'll turn it back on, it should come up right away. There it is, it gives you the little symbol. All right, looks good to me. I like this. Let's go ahead and uh, turn it off. Okay, so the last thing that I think I'm going to unbox, unfortunately, it is covered up, but this is the actual pouch that they recommend you get with this. Here's a good picture of it right here. It's the suggested accessory, the carrying case item number 69401, and here it is right here. Also made by Klein Tools. Again, it was suggested when I bought the actual digital gauge, so just wanted to show you that, all right? So let's go ahead and unbox it because the way they sent it with to me is with this big old sticker across it. So unfortunately, I can't read any of that stuff on it for you. But here's the back of it. You can see it's constructed of 600 denier polyester. So that's good. So it means it's heavy duty PVC zipper with zinc alloy zipper tag, which is good. And there are some of the dimensions for you. Four, Four inches by nine and one quarter by two and one quarter or 102 by 235 by 57 millimeters for those of you who are uh, wanting to know what this is in millimeters as opposed to inches. Okay, so let's go ahead and unbox it. And by that, I mean, let's just go ahead and open it up and see what it looks like inside. All right, take it out. Should be a real quick one. Here we go. Very nice, very durable, Klein. Here's a little to carry it around. Let's open this up and see what's inside. Should be nothing inside. Got one of those nice gel packets. So this will be where these will be stored at. So if we look at these and go ahead and turn it off and we'll go ahead and uh, put these in here like that. Just slide it down, grab this one, slide it down, and grab these wires, grab the leads and just wrap them up like this. Put that inside here. Perfect, look at that. Look at that, fits in there perfectly. Probably just leave that little packet in here just for moisture purposes, right? So there we go, there's that. So let's open it up, see how it looks on the inside again. Unzip it, good zipper actually. So there you go, you can see we have still room. Um, has a little few items in here worth noting. So let's take this out and look at what's in here. If you notice here has that little pouch right here, you can store the leads probably right there and just keep the gauge in here right there. 
Alrighty, everybody, that's the two items that I wanted to show you today. We got the Klein digital meter and the Klein bag that they suggested for carrying it. I got a couple other items that I want to put in here when I'm uh, using this together, but we'll show that in another video. Okay. Well, that's a wrap on the Klein Tools digital meter. I hope you've enjoyed this actual unboxing as well as review. I personally like it. It's going to be good. It's a perfect uh, item for just around the house. Again, if you like what you've seen, please consider subscribing. Also, leave your, some comments below. And I hope to see everybody on the next video. Talk to everybody again on the next one. Bye.